to fast stock market news where I give you all the stock market news as fast as I can. And boy, oh boy, um, it happened, guys. I told you yesterday, if you watched the video about how to stay tuned around 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, that uh, the Fed was going to be speaking and the mar markets were going to go up really high or down real low. And sure enough, they actually went very high. If you've probably watched, been watching videos of why your portfolio went up today, but I'm going to give you the 100% clear cut reason that I think the markets went up and you'll hear a million things. People have a, um, opinions that are like butts. Everyone has one. But I think this is a primary reason and uh, I've been researching this thoroughly for months now and this is basically the reason that the market jumped up so much. But uh, before we get there, let's just see how the index is doing. As you can see, the, the S&P finished almost 3% in the green. The Dow, 2.8% in the green. NASDAQ, over 3% in the green. And the Russell finished up 2.7% uh, in the green. But I want you to, guys to check out this video. And this, this reason alone is why the market popped so much, including crypto, if you have that. Take a look. Take a listen. Steve Leesman, CNBC. Thanks for taking uh, my question, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you talked about using 50 basis point rate hikes or the possibility of them in coming meetings. Uh, might there be something larger than 50? Is 75 or a percentage point possible? Um, and it, perhaps you could walk us through your calibration. Why one month should we, or one meeting should we expect a 50? Why something bigger? Why something smaller? What, what is the, uh, the reasoning for the, for the level of, of the amount of tightening? Thank you. Sure. So um, 75 basis point uh, in an increase is not something the committee is actively considering. Yes! Yes! What we are doing is uh, we raised 50 basis points today, and, and we've said that, again, assuming that economic and financial conditions evolve in, in ways that are consistent with our expectations, there's a broad sense on the committee that additional 50 basis increases should be on 50 basis point increase should be on the table for the next couple of meetings. So we're going to make those decisions at the meetings, of course, and we'll be paying close attention to the incoming data and the evolving outlook, as well as to financial conditions. And, and finally, of course, we will be communicating to the public about what our expectations will be as they evolve. As that's basically why the market pops so much. And uh, personally, in my opinion, I think that we're probably going to have a few green days for the next couple of weeks, at least until the CPI da data comes out. And when that comes out um, later on this month, I'll make a whole video on that, how we could have some more volatility by then. But um, yeah, you could guys could even see some of these headlines are misleading and not not accurate. It says stocks jump after Fed raises rates, basically saying, oh, stocks go up because Fed raises rates. That makes sense. No, nope, that's not true. To see your stock surge after Fed raises rates by half a point for the first time in two decades. Yep, that's a nice misleading headline to get some clicks. Makes sense. But this is the only place that got the headline right. It's Dow surges 900 points. Looks best day since 2020 after Fed takes 34 points. Uh, rate hikes off the table. This is literally the catalyst why we jump so much and why we should should unless again some crazy stuff happens like russia tries to invade another country or nuclear war or starts we should have some rally days uh in the, in, in the next coming days uh, or in weeks for that matter at least until the cpi data comes out in my opinion yeah so uh basically because he took that off the table and everyone had been preaching over and over again how inflation's out of control uh the fed's gonna have to raise interest rates by one percent he's gonna have to raise employment by 0.75 percent no no it's out of control he's gonna have to do a 10 rate hikes in the day but after he literally just said we're not even considering that it's not even on the table boom stocks pop and as i mentioned guys i expect uh a few rally days hopefully for the sake of our portfolios because i know a lot of us are kind of struggling right now when it comes to seeing a lot of red days but yeah guys if you learned anything from this video uh consider subscribing to the channel thanks again everyone and i'll see you guys next time take care everyone thanks again everyone for watching fast stock market news if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing commenting or liking the video i would greatly appreciate it my name is Gio, and i'll see you tomorrow guys take care